Servus Leute, willkommen zurück zu Tales of Whisperia Definitive Edition. Wir sind jetzt in der Stadt der Kritia in Miorso, oder wie es heißt. Ups. Ähm. Ah, ne, nicht Patty. Ja, genau so wollte ich es. Und, okay, das da hinten ist glaube ich ein Hotel. Wir möchten uns jetzt mit dem Bürgermeister treffen und schauen, was er uns zu sagen hat. Das Bürgermeisterhaus ist dann... Wobei, ich könnte auch in das Lagerhaus da... Vielleicht später. Oh, schau mal, Judith ist auch dabei. Erinnerst du dich an mich? Ich bin's, ich bin's. Äh, nee. Moment. Du hast die Stadt verlassen, bevor du überhaupt richtig kennenlernen konntest. Oh, wenn das so ist. Juri ist der Beste hier. Ja, aus der Seltensten. So, schauen wir mal, was jetzt passieren wird. Bestimmt eine Story-Erzählung oder so. Do you think we should really just go in? He's the one who told us to wait for him here. I guess the Critians really are different. They don't seem to be in any great rush to get things done, that's for sure. I know, they certainly are weird, aren't they? Actually, you're kind of like that too, Judith. That's funny, I don't see that at all. Seems like Patty'd fit right in here too. Hmm, might be nice to live here. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I've kept you waiting. Now please, step this way if you will. Huh? This is the very means by which the lore of Miorzo is passed on. But, uh, it's just a wall. Judith, use the Nagig as you touch the wall, and repeat these words. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension. City of dreams, veiled in mist, reality's extension? What's happening? Whoa. So the Nagig can do this kind of stuff too. You know about the Nagig. Through its power and the secret phrase handed down, the wall's true form is revealed. Th this painting is kind of creepy. The Kritya, stewards of wisdom, founders of the mighty Garayos and ancient sages. Our misbegotten wisdom has sown only the seeds of ruin. The Blastia we created granted us blessings, but also blighted the air, lifeblood of this world. Then Rita was right. There were disturbances in the air in the past. You think this is showing a disturbance in the air? It looks more like the air is trying to eat the planet. Hmm. It is said that a great mass of air threatened to swallow the very planet whole. The blight grew ever stronger and brought forth a cataclysm. In our terror, we gave a name to the cataclysm. The Adafagos. Adafagos? The world united to challenge the Adafagos and banish the loathsome power which created it. Hey, could that be the Entelakea? It does look a bit like monsters and humans fighting something off together. Though the Garayo civilization was lost, the Autophagos was quelled in the end. The fact that we are all still here today is evidence enough of that. So then, is this painting showing the Autophagos being brought under control? What is that? It looks like a large ring. What is that? I can't say. I've wondered that myself. Hey, what's the last thing it says there? Judy? Hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the child of the full moon. The Atafagos disappeared into the void. What? The world's prayers. Life faded from the children of the full moon. Our world was preserved. But the story shall remain here for generations to tell of our sin. 240th year of Asul. What's that supposed to mean? There is no further explanation of what each of these phrases may mean. Our ancestors created the Blastia, 
which led to the downfall of their entire civilization. They then chose to abandon the Blastia and sever their ties with the outside world. Snell! Let her go. This is all the lore of Niorzo. Thanks. You've given us a lot to think about. You know what's helpful? There's this magic cucumber that'll turn any dish into a gourmet meal. I think we'll pass. Could we trouble you for a place to rest a while? I feel we may need to impose on you until our friend has calmed down. Hmm. You are free to use the house next door. No one lives there right now. Thank you. Okay, let's be going. Everything the Elder said is true, isn't it? His interpretation of the murals might not be perfect, but with all he told us, it was very convincing. We knew this was a global problem once we talked to Pharaoh. He granted us time because he knew how we would react when we saw this. He probably wanted to show us humanity ain't cut out to handle the situation. And to make us give up on Estelle. So everything's just going according to Pharaoh's plan then? I will not let that happen. Never. I won't give up on her. Ja, tut mir leid für den Nachricht gerade. Eigentlich bin ich, bin ich auf Offline und nicht mit dem Internet oder so verbunden, deswegen sollte das gar nicht sein. Tut mir leid wegen der Nachricht gerade, aber nun gut, was soll's. Ja, die Story hier habe ich nicht ganz begriffen, es schien offensichtlich ähm, damit zusammenzuhängen, dass die Menschen und die Monster gemeinsam gegen dieses gegen diese Air Masse gekämpft haben, sich verbündet haben, weil diese Air Masse droht den Planeten zu vernichten und offensichtlich soll wohl die Story beinhalten, dass das Kind des Vollmonds, was ja Estelle wäre, ihr Leben opfert, um den Planeten zu retten. Und das hat Farron auch schon gesagt, zumindest so was ähnliches. Cataclysm? The Autophagos? If that legend's true, then maybe the power of the child of the full moon isn't the only thing to blame for bringing out the Autophagos. But what about the hearing the world's prayers, life faded from the children of the full moon part? Maybe they averted danger by killing the cause of the Autophagos, the children of the full moon. But, but wait, aren't the Hermes Blastia the real cause? Can't we just stop those? It might not be just the Hermes Blastia. That legend made it sound like all Blastia disturbed the world's air. Right, Rita? The Elder said that Blastia are Blastia. There are no normal ones or special ones. I think that means the only thing that's different is how much air each formula uses. Even the Blastia we're using? Bodhi Blastia are special, but all Blastia utilize air in a formula. They're all the same. And formulas need air to work. The Hermes technique, the children of the full moon, they're probably only part of the danger. With more and more Blastia, the Autophagos will awaken. This is what the Entelikea are afraid of. And that's what I was worried about. I didn't want to admit it. Blastia couldn't be bad. The people who used them for evil were the bad ones. That's what I always believed. But I was wrong. So does that mean we have to stop every Blastia? Like the people here in Murzo did? Aye. We should toss every Blastia in the trash. Gotta row our boats with oars, too. That's impossible. We need Blastia for our everyday lives. Barrier Blastia, Aqua Blastia, Bodhi Blastia, too. Yeah, you're right. So, it's really not possible? I couldn't take on a really tough monster if I didn't have this. Yeah. I wish we could use Blastia without worrying about consuming air. But I guess that's just a dream. The Rizomata formula. What's that? All things exist due to the sublimation, reduction, formation, and dispersion of air. Some think that a still undiscovered theory could freely manipulate those essential mechanisms of air. Formulating that theory is the ultimate goal of current magical research by mages around the world. So that's the Rizomata formula? If it's found, manipulating air will become so much easier. Of course, we need a formula to reconstruct air from power that was originally converted from air. But Estelle's power is actually directly manipulating air. Estelle is the closest thing to the Rizomata formula. 
If we can use a formula to interfere with and neutralize Estelle's power... I don't really get it, but if you work out that formula thing, then Estelle can live in peace, right? So by that logic, if we could control the excess of air, we could prevent provoking the autophagos. Awesome! Hmm. Sounds difficult, but awesome. So we're supposed to go looking for some formula that researchers all over the world can't find? Now you're really dreaming. I will figure out this formula. For Estelle and for me. Yeah, you do that. Huh? Raven, where are you going? For a walk. All this talk about saving the world, the ultimate goal of magical research. This conversation's a little much for old Raven to keep up with. That formula sounds nice and all, but the air is getting worse as we're sitting here. Yeah. For now, we have to find whoever is making the Hermes Blastia. Otherwise, it'll be too late, just like Pharaoh said. But how are we supposed to find whoever that is? If we follow whoever's looking for Apatheia, they should lead us right to them. Cores are made from Apatheia, after all. So Flynn and Nan and their friends? Yeah. I wonder if we'll have to fight them. That's kind of up to them. Ja, Juri, ähm, Patty, ihr seid nicht die Einzigen, die Probleme haben, der ganzen Story da zu folgen. Für mich wird es langsam auch etwas kompliziert. Die Grundlagen dieser Story... Ach, ich kann hier rein jetzt. Ja, nee. Die Grundlagen dieser ganzen Story habe ich zwar begriffen. In der Ferne sieht man Gebäude. Einzig und allein bei Ul kann sie erreichen. Ich habe die ganze... Grundlage dieser Story jetzt zwar begriffen, aber... Oh, das hätte ich nicht tun sollen. Na verdammt. Na egal. Ich hoffe, es passiert nichts. Da muss ich ihm mehr nachholen. Also die Grundsache dieser ganzen Story habe ich zwar begriffen, aber die ganzen Einzelheiten, es ist doch etwas kompliziert. So, hier gab es irgendwo ein Beben. Stelle ist aber nicht da. should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. Do you think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? Don't make me start questioning your loyalties, Raven. Yeah. Das habe ich mir jetzt auch gerade gedacht, was Juri da gemeint hat von der Loyalität. Also Estelle ist klar, sie ist garantiert abgehauen. Wahrscheinlich will sie sich opfern, damit wir aus Schwierigkeiten rausgehalten werden. Aber Raven, den verstehe ich jetzt gerade nicht. Ich hoffe wirklich, dass er kein Feind wird. 
Weil die Musik hier, die sagt schon, Achtung, die Situation wird ernster. Schauen wir mal. Ich frage mich, wo er älteste jetzt hin verschwunden ist. Aber ohne Estelle als Heilerin, wenn da jetzt irgendein krasser Kampf kommt, naja, glaube ich zwar nicht, aber hier scheint niemand zu sein. Das heißt, das heißt ich muss wahrscheinlich dieses Transportblast hier verwenden. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. And words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Out. Ah, well. Just when things were getting good. Just who are you, anyway? What does the head of the knights want with you? I can't believe I only just remembered that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hurry! We have to follow them! I understand how you're feeling, but please try to calm down. What? Aren't you worried? Of course I'm worried. That's why we should calm down and think rationally, right? Oh, right. Yeah. I see. I'm sorry. Got any ideas? Ah, yes. The master of Miorzo might have some idea. He's an Entelikea after all. Maybe he felt the flow of air from the Blastia. Did you hear it? Could you tell us where it was? To the west. A sea of sand. A town? It's not too clear, but... A desert town. I think it's Jormgen. That's the town in the sands of Kagor, where we met Duke before. The sands? Why would they go to a place in the middle of nowhere? Let's head there now. You're leaving then? I am. You don't need to show this. Such a... Haven't you suffered enough? Thank you, Elder. But I'm not suffering anymore. If you went into the outside world, you might understand too. Ich habe schon wieder zu schnell gedrückt, es tut mir leid. Ja, ähm, stimmt ja, Raven war ja damals eingesperrt, als Yuri in den Knast kam. Da war ja was, das hatte ich fast völlig vergessen. Und warum sich Juri jetzt wieder an diese, an diese Szene da erinnert, das, das will mir nicht so gefallen. Ich hoffe wirklich, es ist nichts Böses. So. Einfach, weil ich es kann. So Raven, das, der scheint mir jetzt mehr als nur verdächtig. Gut. Bitte Raven, wird kein Feind. Ich mag dich irgendwie. Was passiert? Was passiert? It's just a pile of ruins. This didn't just happen in a few days. This is like hundreds of years. Maybe there was a huge fire that... Hmm, no. Not a chance of that happening, huh? Quiet. Someone's here. Duke. This could be our clue about the Rizomato formula. That's the dragon from the Weezen of Kados. He's traveling with Duke, huh? I've got questions for that guy, but we have to find Estelle first. They got away. Huh? There's no time. 
This isn't what I would have chosen, but so be it. Alexei, what are you doing here? Ah, looking for the princess? I'm impressed you found your way here. Do you know where Estelle is? What do you think you're doing? Is this your idea of a joke, Commandant? I am at a loss as to how to thank you. Your pitiful sense of justice has allowed me to work with little interruption. Long ago, there was the pirate Ifri, and now we have the likes of Barbos and Rago. They were each of use in their own fashion, but you have performed magnificent work, far surpassing theirs. You're some of the most talented and foolish performers I've seen. What? However, the time for fooling around is over. It is time for you to exit the stage. So that's it, huh? It was you pulling everybody's strings all this time. Well, I'm not laughing, Alexei. Commandant! <laughs> and yet another fool arrives. Flynn! Commandant! How could you? You're the pride of the Imperial Knights. How could you commit treason? This is not treason. I am merely following the path of one who holds true authority. And you just intend to betray the trust of His Highness Yoder? His Highness? Yes. I think he'll be relinquishing his rank soon. This is madness. My lord, all is in readiness. Jaeger! Well done. I am headed for Bactian as planned. I will leave this situation to you, and Yoder's fate as well. Yeah, you bet, my lord. Alexei, wait! Who said you could leave? Stand back. If you try to stop us, get the hell out of the way! Your princess friend is at the shrine of Bactian as well, you know. What did you say? You'll be too late if you don't hurry! Ugh. Ugh. Go after Alexei and Jaeger. Sir! Alexei! You won't get away with this! Yuri, come on! Yuri? Yuri Lowell, give yourself up! The Shrine of Bactian is said to be located on the Hypionian continent. Hypionia, the continent east of Desier. The Egathor Forest is there. Are we actually gonna trust what Jaeger said? If that's where Alexei is headed, then Estelle's gotta be there. We don't have much information, so I guess we'll just have to go check it out. I, we can't just sit here and ignore that guy. What's the matter, Patty? Actually, come to think of it, didn't he say something about Eifried? That man is the cause of it all. If we take him out, we can get Estelle back. But what about Raven? I'll bet he delivered Estelle to them and then just took off. No, Raven, he wouldn't do that. Well, the facts are that she's been kidnapped and he's nowhere to be seen. I mean, that's only logical, right? It's possible he was captured as well. Well, whatever, let's get going. Yuri? Yuri. Flynn. A word? Very well. Let's talk over there. Okay, um, die Situation spitzt sich immer mehr zu. Allein wie diese Umgebung hier aussieht. Dabei war sie. Dabei war die Umgebung so schön hier. Okay, Flynn. Ich glaube nicht, dass er unser Feind ist. Ich hoffe, dass er sich jetzt uns anschließt. Vor allem, dass ich ihm auch endlich mal seine verrückten Klamotten geben kann. Aber er war ja genauso darüber entsetzt, wie dass Alexei ein Feind ist. Ich bin gespannt. Just what the hell are you doing? What happened to advancing as a knight and fixing the empire from within? You've been nothing more than a damn puppet on Alexei's string. Don't you dare tell me that the Dawn and Bellius died for nothing more than that. He was there working alongside you this whole time, Flynn. How could you possibly not know? I'm sorry. Why, though? Did you go along with it because Yoder trusted Alexei? His Highness is not to blame. I had total confidence in Alexei. The responsibility is mine. So your pursuit of the Abathea at Nordopalica was on Alexei's orders, I presume? Yeah. You'd better start talking. Tell me what happened. 
There's no reason to worry about exposing the Commandant now. The conversion of Heliord into a military installation. The abuse of the residents at Mantake. All of Cumor's activities. The forbidden development of New Blastia. All of these were carried out under the Commandant's... under Alexei's orders. Well, you've grown up to be a model knight. Unquestioned allegiance to your country. That's nice. The Commandant. Alexei was not always this way. You of all people should remember. Those who are just will lead lives of prosperity. That was the ideal Alexei once held dear. That was why I... But all it's done for you is help you lose sight of your original intentions. <clears throat> not that I have much right to preach to you, after I let them run off with Estelle like that. No. That never would have happened if I hadn't been blind to Alexei's true nature. I had grown far too used to simply obeying orders like a good knight, even when I doubted them. It was my lack of thought that brought this about. Since when is moaning and whining part of a knight's job description? You impudent! No. It is as she says. I must shoulder this responsibility. It is up to me to rescue Lady Esteles. Whoa, what? Captain, what should be done about His Highness? If anything were to happen to him, the Empire... I know. That's why this brigade is concentrating all our efforts on ensuring his safety. But, Captain... Please. <clears throat> Damn it, Flynn. I didn't yell at you to have you turn around and start telling me what to do. Brave Vesperia is going to rescue Estelle. Then let me join you. Let me be a member of Brave Vesperia. Captain? A knight joining a guild? Don't make me laugh. I was unable to prevent the Royal Guard from abducting Her Highness. I am duty-bound to correct this wrong by saving her. Give it up. You know you have no place in a guild. But if you want to come with us, I won't stop you. Yuri! But you know what you have to do, right? As soon as we've rescued Her Highness, I will return to protect Prince Yoder. I cannot allow the Empire to be thrown into disorder. I'm sorry, Sodia, Witcher. I must ask you to take care of the Prince. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please tell His Highness the same. Understood. <sighs> Yuri. Thanks. Same here. You had me worried there. It's good to see you're back to your old self. Alexei. So he's the one who's been advancing Hermes Blastia technology. Yeah, it's taken a while, but everything points back to him. All right, next stop, the Shrine of Bactian. We're gonna get Estelle and Raven out of there and show Alexei just who he's messing with. Agreed. Yeah. Gut, ähm. Flynn ist jetzt mit dabei. Und was ich als allererstes machen werde. Ähm. Nee, wo sind die. Titel. Ritterkapitän. Der muss der Kapitän in der Geschichte der Kaiserlichen Ritter sein. Junge sollte uns ein gutes Aussehen machen, ihn umso attraktiver. Das ist der Kumpel. Feldwebel. Ne, wo war das jetzt das andere? Ne. Bin ich blöd, wo waren das jetzt? Na, ah, hier. Ja, 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 ja. So. Was hast du jetzt alles bekommen? Bekommen. Der Captain Feldwebel, das war das letzte. Moment. Ah! Meine Rüstung ändert sich. Das ist die bessere Rüstung. Das ist der Kumpel. Ja, da hast du die über, über ewige Rivale. 15 Rüstung. So. Lorelei ist Schwertkämpfer. Ich möchte leben. Mir egal, wer mich akzeptiert. Hier bin ich und lebe. Sieht dumm aus. Äh, das Fedrock rettet das. Die Pflicht eines Rettes Befehl zu befolgen und vor Mühsal nicht zurückzuschrecken. Ja, sieht auch nicht so schlecht aus. Präsident der Studentschaft. Ja. Der Sankt Vesperia Hai. Ach du Scheiße. Maskierter Inqui Inquisitor. Ein maskierter junger Mann, der Ketze auslöscht, um, ein, um einen Pensient mit Lebensmagie zu versorgen. Na, 
verträumter Klavierspieler, ein außergewöhnlicher Komponist, der auf dem Sterbebett einen unglaublichen Traum erlebte. Ach du Scheiße. Erzlord, ein König der Ritter und ein Verteidiger des Volkes mit einem starken Glauben an Gerechtigkeit. Wow, das nenne ich mal eine Ritterrüstung. Na oh gut, ich lasse dich den als Ritter Captain. Wobei. Ja. Super höher. Hundeschwanz. Die kann ich in Hundeschwanz. Ja, sieht doof aus. Gut. Barbos, Rago, even Jaeger. Alexei was behind all of them. And now he's taken Estelle. I won't let him do this. I am gonna rip him to shreds the moment we get Estelle away from him. He must receive his due punishment. We can't let him get away. Treating Lady Esteles in that manner. Alexei is no longer the man I trusted. He's evil. That's all there is to it. And he will not change. It's time for some payback. Wow, Juris Blick wieder. Wenn Blicke töten könnten, Juri hätte mich gerade gekillt. Gut, jedenfalls möchte ich jetzt hier den Part beenden. Beim, hoppla, beim nächsten Mal werden wir Estelle retten. So viel steht fest. Dieser Captain, äh, Kommandant, dieser ehemalige Kommandant Alexei, der wird noch einstecken. Gut, dann würde ich sagen, das war Tales of Vesperia, definitiv für dich. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Fertig.